hello and welcome. Um, so my name's Gail Moffat and for those people that have been used to watching me on these videos, I just want to let you know the reason for my absence is because I have been quite ill. Um, when I was in Pakistan, um, the sanitation is, is not so good there as it is in, in a lot of the parts of the world. And um, as a consequence, I got quite ill. And it took me between, about six weeks to recover from it. Um, and I came back earlier than anticipated due to, due to this illness. But with all that said, um, I, um, the reason for my YouTube channel is that I um, am able to connect to God and I'm eager to get, get going with some of these videos. Uh, God is um, standing by the side of me and he wishes to talk. So um, after you've subscribed, let's go and talk to him. <laughs> so let's see what he has to say. I have been pondering over life and thinking about how to improve mankind. Each person has a different position of where they have grown to. Some have come a long way, like Gail, and are very evolved in their souls, but others simply do not improve. Lifetime after lifetime they commit a sin and do not think anything of it. Many people struggle to be loving towards each other. And it is certainly a problem that I have to face. Consequently I'm always thinking of ways to improve life for man to improve people's souls, to help them move forward. And today, I have certainly made some decisions that are quite unusual for the kingdom of which we live in. When I was a young God, I came to the decision that I wished to make a universe. It wasn't an easy decision because I knew that it would be fraught with problems. That adopting the method that I chose would also have its consequences. The method that I am referring to is one where I give man free will. I allow them to be the people that they want to be, to make the decisions that they wish to make. And of course, this is where I have a problem. For many people, they have adopted a method of love and sincerity. And those people are always dear to my heart. But when I witness people repeatedly create a sin and never think about the, con the consequences of how they are impacting not only one person but several. I always think to myself, how can I improve this soul? But today, with the difficulty in life that I have witnessed, I see that there is need for a different way of life in our worlds. And what I mean by that is that I need to encourage people more closely than I have done before. I need to show people the consequences of their actions earlier than I have done before. I need to deter someone from committing a sin showing them that they must obey the rules of life. The rules of life 
have never been really implemented in the way that I am talking about today. It is not that I do not want to encourage free will because I always do. But I feel that it is now the time to discourage a sin. And so from now on I will be creating an environment where people have to think more clearly about what they are doing and how they are living their lives. I will be showing them a path that is more about their growth and helping them along their way. When I have consulted the people in my kingdom who are close to me, each one of them agrees that the time is right, that we have to make a change in order for people to understand that the life we have led so far for some people does not work. Because we all have a willingness to improve life, I feel that people will be accepting of this new way of living, accepting of taking these changes forward and allowing all of mankind to grow more expediently. I wish to thank Gail for always delivering my messages regardless of the content. And now, please join me in a prayer. I believe with all my heart that life is on the precipice of having a world that is full of love and compassion. That the way people have lived in the past will be no longer. It is my intention to always encourage people along the path of light. And I wish to thank all of mankind for being accepting of my encouragement throughout time. Amen. And so, um, yes, changes. <laughs> I don't know how he's going to do some changes or what he's going to do, but I suppose we just watch this space and um, I want to always thank God for always contemplating how to help us, always thinking about how we can improve our lives and what he can do for us. So thank you, God. And thank you, you, for watching. And again, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell if you want to see further videos of what God has to say. Thank you. Goodbye.